Personal Psalm 77. O oh God, I am desperate for your help once again. I am crying out to you. Please hear me. I am so distressed. I was so distressed that as I prayed during the night, I lay face down on the floor with my hands stretched out in front of me. Comfort seemed a long way off. I tried remembering all God had done in my life, and I inwardly groaned. As I thought about these things, I began to feel weaker. I couldn't close my eyes and I was too troubled even to speak. I thought about the days when I had been so close to God and it seemed like years ago. I remembered the times when I would sing songs of praise long into the night. As I meditated on these things, somewhere deep within emerged some questions. Will God reject me forever? Will I ever know his favour again? Has his unfailing love actually failed? Will his promises ever come to pass? Has God's mercy been exhausted? Is he so angry that he can no longer show compassion? Then some answers came to me. Think about the years when God stretched out his hand towards me, the wonderful things he did, the miracles. Come on, soul, keep remembering God's activity, his incredible interventions. God's ways are perfect and pure. There is nothing that compares to the greatness of God, the God who performs miracles, the God who displays his power, the God who redeems us. Just as in ancient times, when you rescued your people from the pursuing Egyptian army, you rescued me. As I passed through the waters of baptism, there was a shout of victory in heaven, as demonic forces of darkness were buried with me in the water. Your arrows destroyed them, your lightning struck them, Sin no longer had a hold on me. You made a way for my salvation, and as I arose from the waters, and my footprints left a trail on the ground, there was another, invisible, divine set of footprints next to mine. This is multiplied countless times over, as you continue to lead your flock through the waters into the land of promise.